goodness sakes, you leave the server for one minute and it's pitch black out. Today's going to be an exciting, fun day. <laughs> You'll notice very many things have changed around here. Things look very different. Oh, and they're going to look even better. Slowly but surely, I've been demolishing uh, the land. And it's so much land demolishing, I can't even describe to you. I mean, 20 hours? Anybody ever heard of 20 to 30 hours of land demolishing? You can't tell right now, but if you saw what the land was like before and you compare it to how it is now, it's so much. It's so much digging. It was so nice, too, because while I was digging, Etho decided to swing by and give some criticism on the builds. That roof, it's less than a 45 degree angle. It's like a... It's flatter, right? Yeah, I, I made it flatter yeah. and it's still take so dominant it takes up so much space i think that's a good proportion though right no i think i think it did work out well yeah actually yeah. i'm positive i know it's perfect if anything the walls are too big <laughs> okay 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 tell me tell me the truth because uh, this is this is one of those things that i could have tinkered with for another week and the thing that keep kept popping in my head is it's at least one block too tall do you think that too is that why you said that i i cannot critique a beat of no please please the thing that's no I you're not gonna reputation i have a bad reputation for this beat of i'm so puffed up as a builder okay mm -hmm. that you could say anything and it won't hurt me. I can take it. I feel like you need like some semi roofs lower down, like like at the four or five block height kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like those little overhangs to something underneath. I thought I could take it and I can't. <laughs> oh no, I crushed them. <laughs> oh no. I can't. He's going to post this on YouTube. I'm going to be a villain of I the can't. season. I can't believe you said that. Oh no. Oh, I well, what have I, I was done? So I can't proud. take it back. Oh. That's the worst thing about words is you can't get them back after they come out. <laughs> we don't have to live with this now. <laughs> I know it doesn't look like much, but it's a huge accomplishment for me, getting all that land cleared out because, ooh, we've got some nice stuff to build onto. I also accomplished something else. Perfect redstone prowess. Has anybody heard of that? Yeah. Yes, you have. You have wondered, B-dubs, how is this all going to work? Well, I've got a skeleton spawner down below, of course, right? That's giving me tons and tons of bones to make my bamboo. This is my bamboo machine that auto-crafts bamboo blocks for me and other bamboo items if I want it to but how am I going to fuel it well <laughs> right here right here baby this is my most ha it's it's clogged it's clogged it's never clogged before it's clogged so clogged stop it stop it it's so clogged I guess I've never run it for this long it's been running for about 12 hours so uh, probably let me oh goodness sakes let me help but it's making so much bone meal you can't believe it this right here this is a full row of bone meal one block is a full uh, one stack of blocks is a full row of bone meal so you get the impression right we've got tons and tons of bone meal whenever we need bamboo all we got to do is bring that bone meal up there turn the farm on pop 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 and we got blocks for days. Uh, me, speaking of blocks for days, before we dig into all the work, we've got to take a little tour. We've got to go on a little trip, and we've got to check a couple things out. First and foremost, it looks like the graffiti. Yeah, baby, look at this. The graffiti is starting... To take shape. Are these letters? Rise. With an I. That's pretty cool. People starting to graffiti the walls. Which I think is going to be awesome. Look at what Joel has done. Fine art. Like a mosaic. Which kind of rep resembles his base and his entrance. Which I think is really cool. Oh, Impulse working on something. Don't show. Don't show it. Now, backwards from the inside, totally fine. Totally fine and totally happy with that because buildings will cover it eventually. Over here, 
I think Jim did something. This is a great one. Look at this with the black outline. She did the sleigh with the Among Us. With the Among Us guy. Fantastic. I love seeing it. So people are starting to put the graffiti on the walls, which is just going to help it, uh, you know, have some nice memories. Impulse is building uh, behind me. And he's doing an amazing job. You have to go check it out. But uh, I think that's all the graffiti. Now shopping district. Things have changed. Man, this place is popping off. So many shops now. Look at this. Look at, holy goodness. <laughs> okay, so we, we, the, the last time it was just my little shop right there. Look at all this now. We've got this this pit. We've got this uh, purple pit here. We've got this wild and crazy neon sign thing, which is really cool. Bones. Oh, I got thoughts on these bones. And then Jem, oh, thank you for being next door. Thank you so much. Jem made Moss Shop. Oh, my old love. And of course she's rich, of course. It's a wonderful product. Selling clay as well. And look at the activity. Like Cub putting his diamonds that he's made in there. So cool. Bones. I think bones are the fuel. Like the, the, the diesel fuel of Minecraft. With bone, with bone meal, you can do anything. Two diamonds for 32, I think she could charge more. I think if you have a ton of bone meal, you could you could get so, do so many things, especially me. All right, let's take a quick look here. Oh, yes, we're rich. Okay, 6, 9, 10, 14, 16, 18, 80. And that's it, that's 80 diamonds. 80 diamonds, holy cow, plus, I think before, when I first collected all my diamonds, I got 20. I think it puts me at exactly 100 diamonds earned. Well, this isn't an official hitching post, but we're going to have to use it as one. Suzuma has made a sales department, right? Is that correct? This sales place? Aha! Get your first trophy today. All right, this is feeling like a bit of a scam, scam ripoff, but I gotta have it. I, 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 you know what? If I want it, it doesn't mean that it's a ripoff. Ten diamonds for a trophy, saying that I let's let's can I set this down? I bet if I set it down, it's gonna. I bet it's a pumpkin. Okay, let's take a look at it here. All right, how's it look? Oh yes, yes. That is, that's nice. We we can put this on display in our shop. That's a thing you have to do if you're a successful business. Oh, and here's all the other trophies you can get. 100, 250, 500, 750. So I got to start keeping track. And, oh, these tro that, that trophy looks sick. 10,000 diamonds? I think I could make that at some point. Maybe. I got a lot more shops to, it's dark out, so dark out. Let's see how this looks. No, not that. Not that. Let's see how this looks. Okay, put this on there. And then... Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! That's pretty sick! I think something's maybe missing. Is there a hundred that's missing? I don't know. I think that's a cool decoration for the front of the shop. Okay, so, shopping distri district is bustling. We're making tons of money. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Climb! Oh my goodness! I'm so sorry. Uh, but everything's going great. So happy with it. Um, but I have to buy a couple of things, head back to the house, and we've got some things to talk about. If you've ever used your internet on your phone, or a computer, or a tablet, or a television, hold on, like so... You could be sending countless pieces of information out into the digital world that could be seen by many different parties before it gets to its intended destination. Now in the US, ISPs, they're allowed to legally collect and sell your information to ad companies. So if you've ever been wondering, hmm, why am I getting all these ads targeted at me? Maybe you have your answer. But on a virtual private network, you create a secure, encrypted tunnel that your internet traffic can travel through. 
ExpressVPN reroutes your traffic to their encrypted servers for your traffic to travel through. And that's just one of the many benefits ExpressVPN provides. Such as unblocking region-locked shows like I did with The Office a few months back. Find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN free by going to expressvpn.com slash bdubs or check out the link down in the description. Okay, home sweet home. So, what we're going to do today, I know we were talking about doing some cyberpunk stuff, but for uh, reasons, that's going to wait until next episode, and you're going to be glad that you waited for it. We have to work on something here. Obviously, I did all of this digging. You know, I dug all of this down, and why? Why did I do that? Well... So I can, I said at the beginning of the season, I want to work on terrain stuff. And I think we're starting to get to a point now that I've, you know, been carving out. I think we're getting to a point to where the terrain actually starts to make a little more sense. There was so much chaos in just natural vanilla terrain. Unfortunately, I picked a pretty hilly area where I first started, which is probably not the best. But now... Things are feeling a little nicer. See these shapes that we have going here? I like it. I want this whole thing, every bit of terrain, to be touched by me at some point. And already, just with the stuff taken down, just all the blocks removed, now this is starting to look cool. It's looking like, because I wanted this initially to be like a cliff that kind of comes down like this, and it's getting pushed up by rocks. But because of what we've been looking at all this time, it's been hard to read that. Now we've got all this stuff out of the way. Now we can see it. And we can also see the silo off in the distance fairly nicely. But now to take it to the next step, we're going to make these rocks look a little bit more interesting. You can see the shape, kind of, right? But as a whole, it kind of all just blends in as gray. So we're going to 3D them. We're going to make them look even more 3D than they are by adding oh, some colors. Yes, so we're gonna have a couple different variations. We'll have, uh, I'm thinking we'll go like this. To make it look more round, we're gonna add light color to the inside and then around the outside, it'll be a little bit darker. So it'll slowly get brighter and brighter. So we'll have andesite, the outside layer will be stone and then andesite and then a little bit of gray wool and then uh, light, or light gray wool and then light gray concrete. So it's very subtle. It's very subtle, but at a distance, it's going to make it look really cool. And even up close when you're walking by, it still looks nice. We're also, if all of them looked like that, it would be a little repetitive. So we're also going to do the same thing here with these colors, deep slate and tough and cobble, mossy cobble. Now, this is not the exact replica. You know, it's going to be a little different than this, but I'm just showing this as an example. This one, a little more harsh. I mean, I went with the cobble deep slate here, but this one, and oh, it's a hard one to do. Let me show you my trick. You want to place regular deep slate? This stuff, it's different than cobble deep slate. This face. You want this face facing out like that? Uh, let's see if I can do this. Yeah, I got it. I still got it. So it'll be more like that, which is lighter. And it blends a lot better. So that'll be really cool. And then every once in a while, I'm going to have a diorite. One of the stones, maybe make a smaller one. Like that little guy there could be diorite and clay, I think. And I think that'll look really cool. So that's my goal. I want to dig into these boulders and these stones and even these guys out here and give them some of that texture and just see the difference of how cool it looks after that. This is when B-Dubs gets the shivers. I love this. This is not... You know, I talked with Etho for a long time yesterday 
about uh, texturing and shading and block difference and stuff like that. And I realize not everybody's perfect like me. He's not perfect like me, but guess who is? I'm perfect like me. You got to love this. It's so, this is so cool. Look what's happening, okay? The difference from what we had before, all right, when we pull up, it's just a bunch of rocks, you know, just a bunch of stone. Now, it really is feeling like a real, a real place. <laughs> what's feeling so good about it? We got two shades. We got a slight yellow and we got a slight blue. It's a weird, it's weird, but it looks really good. See how it's like bright in the middle, that's making it look like it's sticking out even further. And then dark around the edges, so it gives it some depth and kind of blends it into the terrain a little bit. I also kind of added a little bit of dark texture to the terrain because, you know, sometimes, uh, well, terrain's not all the same color. And I just imagine that could be like a water runoff area, something like that. But boy, oh boy, I think this looks good. Another thing, when you get closer, this is the other thing I was talking to Etho about, is um, sometimes when you're doing texture and stuff, when you get close up, your eyes just kind of blur and you don't even pay attention to it because it's kind of ugly. But up close, I like this. I think this looks good up to close. This, this might be where personal opinion comes into play. And if your personal opinion is that you don't like it, then you're wrong. What a good lesson. I'm also, for all... I, you know, there's just a texture pack thing, a resource pack thing called Better Grass, where you can turn on Better Grass and then the grass texture goes along the side on these. So it don't, you don't have the dirt on the side there. But I'm wanting to, in areas that'll be seen like this without much grass cover in front of it, I'm wanting to just make it look like rolling hills in certain places, like we did there. You know, that's kind of a nice thing. We've got some rocks here that aren't really textured yet. This actually takes longer than you would think to kind of work out the texture things. But I did do some in the back because we do come out of here. I mean, I'm coming out of here quite often and I want to be happy when I come out of here. And those rocks over there, they make me happy. Look at this. This is like two rocks. This is like a rock going this way and then one going that way. The reason why they can be differentiated as two different rocks is because they're shaded a little differently. This one's a little darker. This one's a little lighter. I, it, we'll do that to all of this stuff as time goes on. It just takes so long. <laughs> so, you know, it, this will be just something that I tinker with uh, as we go. We're going to take a brief interruption because uh, we've got more cool. Oh, this is going to be some cool terrain stuff. But I've just been asked to head to the shopping district to see Cub. He's got a game he wants to play. Bone meal. We have infinite. Look at that. It's the fuel. It's the fuel. It made all this stuff. Okay, I gotta head to the sharpening sharp, sharpening district. I think I'm here. Yeah, I He's did here. it. He's I here. did. It. I did it. Such speed! Oh my gosh! Such perfect, speed! Perf perfect yes. navigation, never a doubt. Thank never you, doubt. thank you, thank you. All right, so B Dubs. Yes. This is uh, this is the new game that I made. Okay. So so first of all, first of all, when you're looking at it straight on, first impressions, be honest, be honest. What do I think of it? What do you think of it aesthetically? It's a I, two person game, so I went with the red and blue. I think it's very cool. I love the use of uh the glazed terracotta, which nobody uses. See, Chet, I knew it. I knew B Dubs was the real <laughs> one the whole yeah, time. Yeah, it's a good. That was a smart job. Yeah. Okay, so beat ups, yeah. beat ups. This game. Let me show you how it works. So, um, basically, it's a race to fill up a decorated pot. Oh, okay, okay. So what happens is you put down your pot. You can make your your own pot in here. Uh, put down your pot. Cool. Yeah. Then as you fill it up, see how it goes up, yeah. And up, and up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the first person to have their lights go all the way to the top. Yeah. The fireworks shoots down. Yeah. On the top, destroys your pot, wins. Okay. First person to destroy their pot with filling it too much with the with the blocks. Right. That that's going to shoot a firework rocket down. It's going to destroy the pot. Yes. And then me and chainmail, my lacy chainmail. What's it going to do to me? Oh, you're going to be fine. I'm going to be gonna, fine. A little, so a little love tap. It's a little, little love tap. tap. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So we're gonna. I'm gonna hit this button. There's gonna be a countdown. Yeah. Once the countdown starts, it's gonna go ding ding ding. That's okay. when we start. Okay. Okay. You ready? Yep. You ready? Did I start too early? Yep. Yeah. No, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, 
Come on. Come on. What? I made it. I made it. What? I think that's me. No I think that's way. Me. Yep, yep. And barely. Barely got gotcha. you. Okay. Okay. I want Ooh. a rematch. I... All right. Let's do a rematch. Rematch. I'm not even going to talk about it, but I think I know a mm -hmm. strategy here. Okay. Okay. You do the strat. You okay. try the strat. Okay. I'm right. ready. All right. You want to hit the button this time? You, you got it. You right, got, I got it. it. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. I switched off! I switched oh, off! I My it, mouse moved! No! <laughs> oh, man! My Okay, okay. That's it! This mouse is going in the trash! I'm sorry. I was... The first time I was holding right-click... Okay, okay. The second time... And I... And yep. It did seem to be going faster. Is that true? I think it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so if you just hold it, it's it's slower than just, you know. Yeah, listen to you yeah. go when you pe Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just doing it. Just holding down right click. I don't think it goes quite as quick. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. it's exhausting, yeah. though. It is, right? It, it gets intense. Yeah, yeah. Intense. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's oh, fun. That's nice. Yeah. Well, thanks for trying this, B-Dubs. Appreciate you stopping by, man. That was, uh, that's a long trip, but this was very worth that long trip. Oh, that was fun. And perfect timing, because when you do a lot of building and stuff like this, oh man, the, the little interruptions like that are wonderful. Just break things up just a little bit. Okay, time for our, our cool science. A little rule for art is that you want to control the eye of the watcher, the person watching or looking, the watcher, the looking. And a great way to do that is with paths. So, of course, we need to get a path in here. And I think we're going to do it kind of windy a little bit. We're going to come up through here, obviously. That's kind of where we'll come in, up and around, and then weave that way around the circle or around the the base there so i want to do this path but i want to keep it interesting uh we've got a lot of just flat land and the instant thought is some kind of crop you know put put some kind of crop big farmland in here or a bunch of flowers or something like that which does look very cool but i want to do something different and i think i just want to look make it look like just natural high grass overgrown area natural grass not a not a crop not a farmland not a but just like an open field uh so it'll be a lot of just tall short grass ferns and a bunch of other random stuff but to keep the path interesting i've got a little bit of an idea that i'm kind of excited about so <laughs> this what is this called this is called warped nylium it, the, you got to be open-minded, and you are, because you're here. It's nice. It's real nice. When you're going over it, it just slightly shifts the blue, the green to a blue just a little bit. And I know blue feels like alien. Like, this feels like an alien color because it's so vibrant. But it's just going to be little dots of it in the corner of our eye. And I think it's going to be awesome. I'm so excited for that. Additionally, we're going to do some things like this, where uh, we we bring, uh, th this is the lichen, where we do the lichen, and that'll even, actually, you can bridge this transition very nicely with the lichen. Like, it, it makes it blend in pretty well, I think. Maybe it's a little too bright. Yeah, it's slightly too bright. Uh, but we're going to kind of mix those a little bit along the path and some other things. So I'm really going to work on trying to really make this look wild and overgrown and crazy. I think it's going to look awesome. But you get little peaks of that blue, and I think it's cool. Addition <coughs> I did this last episode. <coughs> Additionally, I originally wanted this land to go much out, out much further. So I think I'm going to extend that out as well. And with all this stuff, we might need a tree. We might need another tree. I'm thinking we need a tree for our frame when we enter the area. Uh, 
that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work, B-dubs. Don't be crazy. Don't be crazy. We're going to work on the path and some of the other stuff, and we'll see how far we get. But the transformation, I think, is coming along very nicely. I can't really explain how good this feels, and I haven't even fully, fully taken it in. We're, I'm going to fully take this all in with you guys. I build one thing, and then I, I, I look at it, and okay, 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 but to actually be in the world on the horsey. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's the... I'm going to turn around. This is the perspective that we've been working on. Okay, okay. Something's happening. A change is happening. This change is called... Well, we're adding some depth. We're putting another tree here, okay? And that's because, really, the, the main view, this is not like your main view. Your main view is like here. And you've got a foreground element, which is this tree. And then the background is that. And then the mid is this. Oh, and it's looking so good. I'm so happy with it. You can see from here. So, obviously, we've got the tree. Little, you know, slightly same, slightly different. I got a tree like this in my backyard that I like a lot. But uh, we we sloped out the terrain now. And there's a secret about it that maybe I'll never tell you guys um, until next episode. But there's the terrain sloping out. And doesn't that look much better? Instead, of, it was cut off right here before. But now it just kind of flows out like that, which I think is really nice. Oh, I'm, I'm smiling. I'm happy about this. And here's this area that I was talking about. I I go for walks with my wife. Uh, and there's this park in this area. Server will start in five minutes. I got to hurry. There's this area that's just all overgrown grass and stuff. So I wanted to kind of replicate that feel. And I think we got it. I think it, it just feels so good going through here with the ground variation and stuff like that. I'm really, really, really happy about this area. Etho was asking yesterday, what are you doing? And he said, you must have a really big project going on. And I said, yep, it's probably the biggest amount of time spent for the l smallest amount of change. <laughs> I mean, this isn't... To me, this feels like a huge change, but visually, maybe it's not coming across. It's a feel change for me. But still have a lot to do. <laughs> Still have a lot out here, but this could be, I mean, I would like to have a wheat field. So that could be that. And then we've got our back area as well. And I kind of smoothed that out too. So we still have some work to do in the back, but mainly that front. We wanted to get that all situated today. All right. You know that secret I told you that I wasn't going to tell you until next episode? I'll show you. I'll show you. But you have to promise not to judge, okay? Sometimes, listen, all right? As a 41-year-old man, sometimes your fingers start... Server will start, start in three minutes. Sometimes your fingers start cramping, okay? <laughs> I placed a lot of blocks today. The, all that grass? Come on now. I mean, there's a lot of it was bone meal. But then bone mealing the other grass and getting tall grass. There's a... I placed a lot, all right? And, um... What you see here is uh, potential outlines for where the land will go. Not filled in. Not filled in because my hand, my hand's hurting. I'm tensing my hand up because my mouse wheel is like so ultra sensitive that I'm like tensing my hand up to try to make it perfect. And it's giving me arthritis. 
carpal tunnel, whatever. I don't know what it's called, but it just hurt in my hand. I think I would have had this when I was young, so it's not an old person thing. Climb, go graze in the fields for a little bit. He's free to graze here. There's so much land that I can see where he is. This is nice about the field. Okay, I put in, look at this little trick. So uh, there's there's an art style, the Studio Ghibli art style. It's, um, it's, uh, it's hard to explain. Just look it up, okay? But a lot of the way they do their terrain, and this is a little on the extreme side, but in the shadows, like in their grass and stuff, in a grassy field, the shadows will be kind of bluish, which we did here. And I wanted to pull it a little more yellow, and this is yellow. I wanted to go a little yellow for highlights. Uh, but this works too. I like this. In the grass, and it's just blending. Like when you're looking at it, it's just there. We got one minute. Oh, goodness sakes. But I think these just yellowish pops of green look really nice in here. And you never pick them out. You just feel them. When you look, you just feel kind of that bright yellow kind of popping through. You know what? I think I'm going to call it before the server restarts because you never know. You never know if we'll get it back. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this fun. This is just me just farting around in my area. Yeah, but it's something I felt I needed to do. And I'm really glad I was able to do it. I'm feeling really good about this spot now. Okay. Server's going to restart soon. I love you guys to death. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next.